Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie, this is Jackie Does Keto. Hope you're okay. And today I've got a very short and sweet video for you. Just a couple of hauls. I know I usually share my keto videos with you guys, but I'm feeling a bit green around the gills, out of sorts, not feeling myself today. So actually all the last week I've not been feeling brilliant. I've not got the thing. It's just, I think I feel like, um, like tired and just really worn out and um, a bit like I've got, about to have a cold but then I'm not getting the cold. So I think it's just some bug I've picked up, which is annoying, because I've not had a cold or a bug or an illness properly since before this. So the fact that I've been able to get away with it because I'm wearing my mask and housebound is really annoying that I've now picked up some sort of bug. But anyway, I do want to share with you guys a couple of hauls. I've been to, yesterday I went thrifting, um, and I also went pottering. <laughs> thrifting and a pottering around the village and bought loads of old rubbish. And then today my groceries have arrived. So let me flip you guys around and show you my groceries for today and also what I picked up yesterday and have a little, little chat about what I'm gonna be prepping this week for my keto meal prep. So first of all, I went thrifting and um, my partner, Paul, he loves CDs and tapes, audio tapes. Oh. I know it's annoying but you know love and all that stuff so I grabbed him and when I go I always have a good rummage of the CDs I grabbed loads of like compilation CDs of like songs from the 90s and noughties um like the killers and stuff like that so it's like five for a pound so I spent like three quid you know it'll keep him happy he would be so happy so I bought loads and loads of CDs I bought Annie Lennox as well as a wild card see how he felt about that also while I was thrifting I saw this top it's like a magenta pink it is originally from Next which is a nice shop here um it's a good quality shop like kind of like Gap so that's good quality need a wash obviously I think it was it one nine one pound fifty one forty nine so I'm gonna wash this guy I think it look nice with a pair of like um like black jeans a little um I don't like my arms um like a little black cardigan like throw like shrug kind of cardigan but it's got a nice little pattern weave in it so I thought that'd be nice for a night out if we ever go out went to Argos as you do got a new clock for our bathroom because ours stopped working the hours stopped turning and some command strips because I want to put a photo, photo picture up this weekend um I went to B&M there's a few bits scattered everywhere new toilet brush for the bathroom also grabbed these. These are a Skinny is a brand here, uh, like to do syrups, um, squeezy syrups and stuff like that, stuff for your coffee. And this is a cocktail one. And it is, as you can see, zero carbs, just loads of chemicals. And um, Paul loves the cocktail. Obviously, he's a bloke and he has to have beer, but he does actually really prefer cocktails. So I actually, these are more for him, but I can certainly have a cheeky cocktail with some vodka in it. Although uh, alcohol itself is not keto. Um, some people consider keto as uh, alcohol um the fourth macro because it can it does inhibit weight loss just so you know so i don't drink too often i had one drink this year so maybe i'll have one pop to boots got myself some facial scrub some people have asked me about my uh, beauty routine i don't know why <laughs> um i wash my face with this that's my beauty routine got some dry shampoo because it was a third off and some of these doodars these are normally eight pound no normally six pound i got two for eight pound i thought i'd try them like a deep conditioning hair treatment got some of these little nail polishy pops you know you stick your finger in and it takes it off i've got one for regular and one for taking off falsies um because i've got my falsies as you can see are halfway grown out there to there so probably another week and i'll be taking those guys off what else to get oh also from b and i'll show you these um now the reason why i got these is because of the carb level is super low you've got one there to go in milk which for me would be almond milk but or if i get like a protein shake that i'm not keen on could put a bit of strawberry in it, make it different. And this one's actually just for adding to water to make your squash, your water taste nicer. And um, that's from B&M as well. Um, and I think that's my whole lot from B&M. Oh, I also got this from B&M. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Look at me. It's a throw just for autumn. It is cold here already. It's rubbish. Our summer is a washout. I'm already thinking about getting autumnal and wintry. So I thought I'd grab that while it was still available. Just the throw of my legs when I'm watching the, my YouTubes and things. I also grabbed a candle while I was in there. These are like four pounds in Sainsbury's, I think. But it was one, two, twenty nine in B&M. It smells really nice. Other bits and pieces I picked up today. Kitty food, because they are spoiled toilet stuff. This is also from B&M. Crab meat, shredded. Um, don't buy it very often, but we'll see how I feel about that. Got some sprouts from Sainsbury's, just some of that for poor tissues. Tortilla wraps, I wish I could get keto versions, but no. Get my lasagna. I got myself a whole chicken for tonight's tea. 
Um, might have some now because I'm feeling a bit wibbly wobbly. And some more cream because it's delicious. Um, new uh, toilet seat. Um, I haven't actually changed ours yet. And I'm really nervous it's going to fit. It says fits most toilets, but you know, I'm not sure. Um, also got pumpkins for my autumnal decoratory things. These are from Hobbycraft. They've been all over Instagram. And they said that the original one sold out in, a, in half a day, the lady said. And this is her second batch. These are two pounds each. The, the orange ones are gone. She says you're not going to find them. So I grabbed one of each of these guys. The other ones double the size for four pounds. But I just thought I'd, I'd have three little dinky fellas. Grabbed a new back doormat and more clothes because I'm feeling the Wonder Woman vibes at the moment. I've got a nice Wonder Woman t-shirt. I spent so much money today. It's unreal. There you go. And that is my little haul for today. And this is the groceries from Morrison's this week. I think this was something like £76. Oh, they haven't charged my card yet, which is really odd. Which I don't I don't mind. I'm not mad about it. Um maybe that will happen in a week. But there you go. So this is the keto friendly end. I do live with my, if you're new here, I do live with my partner. He doesn't eat keto, so his stuff tends to be on this side, this stuff tends to be my side. So let's show you what I'm gonna what I've got for the week. Um I've got some frozen cockles, which um so I didn't realise that they weren't a global thing. They're kind of like tiny little baby clams. And I like them covered in vinegar. Um, I used to live by the sea and it's kind of like a seaside thing. So, um, yeah, that'd be just one night. I, I, all I would do is defrost that the night before and have it the next day as, like, you know, something. I also grabbed some almonds um, just for snacking on. Because I haven't had any for a while. I am a bit triggery with almonds and nuts in general. I tend to be a bit of a dustbin. I just, like, inhale them. So I have to pace myself. I used to put them in little baggies. I used to get them and then bag them up into like 25 gram portions, which is about 12, 15 almonds. I had them as a snack pack. Um, and I got out of the habit of doing it. So maybe I'll start doing it again to help me portion control my nuts because I'm not very good at that. Um, I've got some bacon and I've got some eggs and I also got some sausages spread out a little bit. I think the plan for this week is to do some bacon egg sausage boxes, which I, I do quite frequently. But generally, it keeps me happy in the morning, sticking something in me, getting warm. Um, the weather's turning a bit cooler, so I definitely want to something warm in the morning. I also grabbed some chicken thighs and drums as a kilo. I might put that in a slow cooker and shred that up, I'm not sure. Um, I've got some romaine hearts and some celery. I'm going to use those as boats to put in. I probably will cook up this chicken, shred it, mayonnaise it, and just put it in uh, romaine boats. Um, and maybe have some chopped celery on top. Um, also with the celery, I got some full fat cream cheese. This is the lowest carb one I can find. Don't go for the like reduced fat. Even though they taste okay, um, they have more carbs in it generally. So I've gone for the full fat cream cheese. Just for a little snacky snack if I feel like I need something crunchy. Also grab some more of these. I've been having these for about three or four weeks. I've been really enjoying them. Just little snacky mozzarellas. Um, definitely not dairy free at the moment, that's for sure. <laughs> um... Got some more double cream. I did buy some cream yesterday, so I don't know. I might end up cooking with that in some way because I've got too much cream. Also got some of these pork shoulders. These are really nice. Just put them on the George Grill. I like the fat marbling in them. They're just really juicy and moist. Um, I don't like regular pork chops. Um, I like the one with the marbling in it. Um, also grab some cheese, but I bought the mature and it is super looking mature. It's all like I hate it. Mm, I think I picked the wrong one. Normally, I, I like the mature, but this, is, this looks super mature for me. It looks very dry. Not happy about that. My own fault. I also got some of this cooked chicken stuff. More for the cats than me. It's just one of those things if I've got I find something salty. I tend to want to eat before I go to bed because, you know, psychology of that. Um, and so I might grab a couple of slices of that. It's not very keto, but it's something. And the cats will probably eat it, to be fair. And a tinky tiny sour cream because we still have some of last week's left. And this is poor stuff. Bless him. Don't look, don't look. Get some profit rolls and some haribos and some mints. All the sweet deliciousness. Sausage rolls. He does love those. And some croissants for breakfast. I love the house when it's these toasting croissants. It just smells so good. Although I'm not really fussed about them, eating them. Um, sandwich filler and some bread. A giant Yorkshire pudding, which I think is a popover in the USA. I've made it actually a Yorkshire a keto Yorkshire pudding recipe video. It's one of my most popular ones. Um, so if you do look in my one of my playlists, there will be a Yorkshire pudding popover video. Um, I think they work out to be three carbs each. They're very good. Um, loaf of bread, some kitty cat food and some vinegar for him and all the drinks. Um, and that is pretty much us done for groceries this week. 
that's all I'm going to have for you for this week. So I'm not feeling myself. I'm just going to put these things together. What I'm going to be cooking up from all this stuff is I'm going to cook up my bacon, eggs and sausage. I'm also going to cook up some chicken so I can have some of those celery um, and romaine lettuce wraps for the week, I think. And hopefully that should come. Yeah, I've also got some in the freezer, some pre-cooked gammon I did about two weeks ago, which is going to be really helpful. And the reason why I like prepping ahead and freezing is for times like this when I do not feel like cooking too much. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you're having a lovely weekend. I'll catch up with you guys probably tomorrow or the day after for a check-in video for a weekly weigh-in. I've been having the most real ketones I mentioned on my uh, Instagram to see how I think they fared with me. I'll let you know how that goes. And I'll see you guys in another video.